What's up guys, Triple C here. We got the gun running DLC now, so we've got a new method of earning money in the game. And in this video I want to discuss if it's really worth it in the end, how much you really earn with it over time, or if it might even be that biker missions or CEO missions net you more money in the end. Now, with the gun running bunker, what you gotta say right off the bat is you're splitting your workforce between conducting research and manufacturing guns. And of course, you also want to have your workforce directed towards the um, the research because then you get all the unlocks. Now, if you don't have a modded account, you won't be buying all the unlocks because it's really, really expensive. So you want to have your res uh, your staff working on that towards that to get all the unlocks now in the beginning i got the rear turret with the research and then i dedicated all my workforce only on gun production to see how fast it actually rises we're at 700k now we will also sell it in a second get a bonus on it now that my gun running bunker was full then i assigned my whole staff only to doing research to get all the unlockables because it's full anyways right now i don't need them producing guns i got it all on conducting research right now now, if you go on research, you see all the unlockables. As you see, I got the rear turret unlocked, and then there's a lot of unlockables still, which I still have to get unlocked. So right now, I got it all um, set to research. Um, here you can see we're going to sell all my product now, and if I sell it further away, it's going to sell for just over a million, basically. Um, you'll get different sale missions. Um, I only did this one here. I didn't do the other ones. I had three friends helping me, so we were four people. And I heard from other people there's some also more fun ones. The one we got caught up in here was very boring, actually. We just had three vehicles that we had to deliver. I went in a buzzard for backup in case we would get enemy fire, and then my three friends just delivered their vehicles to the drop-off point. So very straightforward. We just had to drive it there. In the end, I got just over one million for that but what i have to say it did take three whole days three or four days actually for the stock to fill up to 700k and with the bonus like i said we will be getting just over a million and if i compare that to the biker stuff with the coke business for example i can do two sales in one day in the same time i was online with the gun running dlc which is also almost a million so I gotta say this right off the bat, you're making more money with biker stuff. If you got at least one friend helping you, you can work so effectively because what you do always have to remember in these missions, of course, yeah, we're earning over 1 million. That is more than with the cocaine on the biker DSC, but um, we're spending much, much more time on it. So we're spend actually spending three or four whole days to make this one million, whereas with biker stuff, we can easily make that million in one day. So it's just simple math in the end. You know, Don't just look at the total payout you're gonna be getting, but consider the amount of time and effort you're putting into getting that payout. And um, that's what I just said. Like with biker missions, you're making much more money in less time. So this million I could have made easily in one day. And what I'm gonna be doing now with my gun running bunker, actually pretty good in this instance for me that I'm not earning that much money with the gun running because now I'm gonna be dedicating all my staff only to the research to get all the unlockables. Um, because obviously if I have all my workforce directed only at the research, that will go at maybe double the pace. I don't know exactly the uh, time constraints on that, but I think you can get two unlockables. Yesterday I got two unlockables in one day. I got two messages that the next research project was complete again. So um, that's def definitely good that you're basically splitting up your resources there, making money with the biker stuff and doing the research in the gun running bunker. Now, of course, gun running is new and everybody wants to do it. I also want to do it. I also want to see what all the missions are like. But like with any DLC, it will also get boring, maybe not boring, but you'll know everything already. You know, it's not that interesting and exciting anymore as it is in the beginning right now where we're still figuring everything out. So once you've done all these missions and you know what to expect and you basically know what it's all about, then it's basically an easy choice to just not make any money with your gun running bunker 
but just make your money through biker businesses. You can also do the import-export stuff, which is, you can also be pretty quick with that if you have one friend. Import-export, have one friend with you, one in a buzzard, the other one in a cargo bob. Go in there, pick up the car, be out quick. That's always a quick 80K you can make. Basically, you can collect any car in less than five minutes. So also, again, if you're looking at the payout over time, that you can basically make 80K with one import export car if it's a high class car in just five minutes you're making more money than on the gun running so both ceo crates i wouldn't say so crates are really very tedious and take a lot a lot of time but with the import export with the selling cars and exporting them and with the biker stuff especially if you got a coke lab and a meth lab you're making much more money over time so I'd recommend making money on those once you're tired of all these CEO of all these gun running missions and you know them. Just make your money on the other stuff and dedicate all your workforce on the gun running towards research. So yeah, I hope I could help you guys out and I'll check you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.